right, YouTube, welcome back to Cheat Code Jiu Jitsu. We're working side mount submissions, this time from where I've got that far side underhook control for me so that I have the ability to flatten my opponent out. I'm gonna work a submission here that is gonna be a guillotine choke. It's one that not, uh, not a lot of people tend to hit from a side control position, at least the way that I do it. Traditionally, it was thought that having side control and trying to get a guillotine wasn't really all that effective. Um, I've come to learn over years of jiu-jitsu, you actually can get it. The thing that you need to do is that you need to either adjust your grip to make the guillotine work, or you need to adjust your body. So whenever I'm doing guillotine chokes, I need to main, the most important thing that I need to concentrate on is the orientation of my body with my opponents. If I am in a position with Chad, come here, turtle. If I'm in a position where I have no guard, his head and his body are both on the same side, I've got a really effective choke. Moving around to half guard, this still works very well. Full guard, this starts working still pretty well. Once I start getting into this half guard position where the bulk of his body weight is on the far side from where his head is, these guillotines start getting very inefficient. Now it's really bad if he's passed all the way through to side control on me and he's on top pushing me down. I might neck crank here, but I really don't have a guillotine. And I open myself, of course, up for things like the Von Flew choke. If I lead this thing in, now I get tapped out. So the problem that we run into trying to do this from the side mount position is that when I'm on top and I'm in side control and I'm wrapping his head for a guillotine, I'm in the exact same position in relation to his body that I'm in if he's got side control on me with his head and his legs on opposite sides of my body. So here's the adjustment that I'm gonna make. I wanna try this from an underhook, not from an overhook, because of course from the overhook, he can not only jack me up, but he's also got his hands to defend his neck. Once I catch this underhook, I can go low with my body, push that up and keep his hands out of the way. And I can wrap his head and I can get my hands in position. So, two variations I'm gonna do that will make this guillotine choke work. One, I said change my grip. If you remember back from my Armin guillotine video, I showed you guys a reverse gable grip. I'm gonna use a variation of the reverse gable grip to get an efficient choke on his neck by locking my hands together here, and then I'm gonna take this elbow and I'm gonna tuck this elbow down. Similar to the shallow Darce video, where we talked about going through and presenting that ridge on top of your wrist and using that to choke him with, that's actually what I'm gonna choke him with. So, far side underhook, wrap the head. This is gonna go in, palm down, flat part of my wrist up against his head, which is usually a no-no. I don't normally want to do that. When I go here, this hand is gonna shoot down. Don't leave space because he'll pummel back in. This hand shoots down, and then I'm gonna lock up sort of this quasi reverse gable grip. What I'm gonna do here, this elbow here, is gonna drop and pinch, and then now I just drive forward and squeeze. There, to present the wrist, elbow back to squeeze. And now even though I don't have optimal body alignment to get this thing done, because of the grip change and the fact that I'm jamming my wrist up into his throat, I can actually get a really effective guillotine from that position. That's option number one. Option number two, if I'm not aligned with him properly, I need to change my body alignment. So if I want to take maybe a more traditional guillotine grip, ball and socket grip, Marcello grip, whatever you want to call it, something like that, and make this choke happen, I'm not going to be able to just stay at this angle to him and make that traditional guillotine grip work. So when I get in here with my far side underhook, I wrap the head, I come back in, I grab my basic guillotine grip, don't just drive forward and squeeze, you won't get it. Instead, watch my feet. That's all I gotta do, just switch my hips and turn over. Now, my body positioning, because I've turned my hips over, is more akin to if he was on top of me in half guard. 
That's a perfectly aligned position from here. I just arch back, pull up just a little bit. I've got a really tight guillotine. And what works really well about doing it like this is I'm leaning back so you can see my grip. But when I do this normally, I've got my lats compressed against the side of his neck. So I'm driving my ribs into this side of his neck. And then I've got my grip in here. So I'm pulling up with this side, closing off the carotid artery on the bottom side. And my ribs are smashing into his neck and closing off the carotid artery on the other side. So you get a really effective guillotine that's a blood choke, puts a guy to sleep really quick. So one more time. Far side underhook, wrap the head, swim back through, traditional guillotine grip, switch my hips, ribs on the side of his neck, pull up, finish the guillotine. Catch you guys next time.